and this is my first YouTube video with Bible art journaling and I've done most of this on Periscope. I haven't done too many pages. I haven't had my art journaling Bible that long um, but I was so excited today when I received my first set of stencils of my own design and these are my Brave Girls and I have one large and one small on this particular stencil and oh my goodness she's cute and I just couldn't resist actually putting some in my Bible and you can see here that I just used a Ranger waterproof ink and I then decided um, that I would put that just um, ink those lines in with a very fine 0.5 tip I think it's a 0.5 yep 0.5 tip micro deluxe waterproof pen and get that sketch in but of course I didn't do heaps of lines I filled in some of the lines but left gaps because I like the broken line look it adds more interest to the page I've just penciled in her head so that I know exactly where to put the hair because to be able to do the stencil at the size I wanted to we cut the top of the head off on the stencil and it just requires you to just fill in the blanks at the top I assume that people can pretty much draw a circle um, and so we can just put the top of the head in and I just do it in pencil because I'm going to actually paint over it and draw the hair over it which is really good and I'm going to have her hair obviously going to the left across I could have it going up but she's looking up at the verse that I'm studying today which is in Mark now my trick that I do on most of my journal pages is I gla create glazes and I use my paint that way and I use very thin coats. That means that you can see that my paint is bubbling a little bit but not a lot. And at the moment I'm just using the Salmon Neo colour mixed with matte medium and then I've just got that lovely kind of ochre colour um, that I just deepen some of them with and then I'm just using the pink Neo colour to do to initially put the initial pink into her cheeks and in her lips because I want her looking muted and I don't want bright red lips I've already decided she's going to be a redhead at this point um, and I've used um, Oh, I've used a Atelier Free Flow Transparent Burnt Sienna which is a really nice colour when you use it as a glaze and then I just added in a little bit of Delusions Orange Paint which I am kind of regret now I would rather create a glaze out of it and then add it or either use a transparent um, neon colour over the top but that's by the by uh, but I lay these down and the matte medium actually seals the page really well and allows me to do subsequent coats over the top without it all bleeding through to the page underneath which is awesome and the verse that I'm dwelling on and doing here is Mark 4 and it's verse um, 20 Four, and he said to them pay attention to what you hear with the measure you use it will be measured to you and still more will be added to you so that was the verse that I was meditating on while I was doing this page and it jumped out at me and we've been studying a little bit about the disciples lately and um, the characteristics of those disciples and what then led them to be great in spreading the word of God after Jesus ascended into heaven and that's been a really awesome kind of thing because there's a lot of correlations between their lives and our lives today and they have a lot of the same sort of similar um, issues that they come up with on a regular basis and so therefore I really um, think that there's so many correlations that we can make for that anyway so with this I then get into my Tombos and I've done the hair so you can see the hair there but I get into the Tombos and the Koi markers now and I'm just deepening gradually her skin tone and just building it up a little bit and I like the fact that I can do this with the Tombos and with the Koi markers and I'm not going to water activate them I'm just going to layer them and it works really well in the end and she ends up having a lot of life 
Um, I'm going to give her blue eyes and I'm going to use three different koi markers in that. So I'm going to start off with a really light blue, then a mid-range blue, then a very dark blue to give the accents on the eyes. And then I'm going to go over them later with a little bit of a, pris a light blue Prisma pencil just to blend them all together. And then add my further shadows and highlights. Um, I also use a Tombow marker in her hair and I add that in and I deepen um, the colour in her lips with just more skin tone markers. So I just add a few layers and that gives real depth to the lips and the picture in the end and she's got some really nice light and shade. I, care, I pick out you know kind of a mid-tone brown and I'm going to add in some shadows in all the shadow places very very lightly hold the pencil right at the end of the pencil not close up to the point right at the end use it on its side and you can't put a lot of pressure on it when you do that and that allows you to just gradually build up some layers of color I also then was able to add in some shadows and it's interesting after I've done the eyes I've used like a 50% warm grey and gone in and put shadows around the eyes and over the top of the eyeballs and in the whites of the eyes and even just deepen those shadows again in the creases of the eyes because they're the deepest part of our face and just in little other shadow points um, I've just added those additional shadows in because that works like um, a hue and when we add hues it's usually black but if we can add in something like a warm grey it will just gradually deepen the colour but it won't be so dramatic and that's what I'm looking for here I'm looking for lovely vibrancy to go with that lovely red you know orange hair and I must admit that in this I've used um, that third shade of the Tombow which went over the top of the hair really, really well. And you can see me now just um, deepening the shadows and adding the definition, redoing those black lines around the eyes just to really define those eyes and putting those eyelashes in. And those eyelashes, I'm happy to say, are kind of really, really long and over the top. But of course, in the context of this whole thing, they're not a huge, they're not like massive, great big diva lashes. But it just looks like she's got amazingly long, beautiful lashes and I throw in a few at the bottom of her eyes as well and they're so pretty and when I got those lashes I just got a vision in my mind of freckles so I'm going to go in with the Tombow marker and I'm going to find it in a minute and I'm going to go in and do the hair and then add some freckles in and deepen the shadows around her eyes they are so cute and her details are coming in so pretty I'm just completely in love with this little girl she's just so so pretty and I can imagine her sitting there and being blown having her hair being blown away by the wind and just she's just naturally gorgeous they're cute girls and with these stencils you know I designed them for my break girl workshops and I'm holding those starting in uh, June and oh my goodness, I'm and in July, I'm really excited about that because they're from twelve to they're for twelve to seventeen year olds, and I'm going to be explaining them and giving them a voice, talking to them about bravery in the context of where they are in their lives today, and then getting them to tell their own stories in their own words, and using these gorgeous brave girl stencils to help them create their own beautiful girls on the page. Uh, well, not on a page, actually, on a canvas that they can take home, and that's part of the workshop. And I have yet to decide whether I'm actually going to sell these yet, but if you're interested in purchasing them, comment on the video, and uh, if I've got some demand, then I'll do a run of them. And that's the end. I hope you've enjoyed it. Ciao for now. Learn something new today. It keeps you young.